uh, I am Aziz, uh, a postdoc in the University of Oslo, Norway. Um, and I'm also uh, part of eLife uh, and SF Bio Community Ambassador Program. So we are a group of uh, young researchers um, um, working to make science more open and, and reproducible. So um, I would like to thank the organizers for giving um, me the opportunity to share um, one of our initiative under the umbrella of uh, eLife Ambassador Program. And I would like to thank um, the Open Bioinformatic Foundation for giving the travel grant to come for this meeting. So ECR Central is, um, is an open and central platform for ECRs, uh, which aims to bring ECRs to um, find and discuss funding opportunities and also to share experience and, 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 and interact with each other um, uh, with communities to create impact. So um, I put these slides online uh, and, and there is a poster as well. Uh, you can uh, take a picture and you are free to take picture during the slides as well if you want. So um, as a scientist, we all know that we need funding um, to do our science and to pay the salaries and buy the equipment and also to come for such meetings. And of course, finding funding is, is challenging and um, there is um, some estimates that if you are an established researchers, a researcher, you, you spend almost half of your time to write research grants. But if you are a young researcher, it, that's even more challenging because there is a high competition and then uh, you have limited mentoring, um, then there are several mobility rules, these several fellowships has, and then you have uh, years since the, your PhD, there are several restrictions. And uh, although there are several funding opportunities out there, but there is no central resource um, which um, you can systematically search these funding opportunities and also seek for help if, if, if you are want to apply for such any of these fundings. So, uh, using, uh, for example, based on the mobility rule, let's say you're coming from Germany, if you want to go to the US, you go to this resource, uh, such a resource which will list you all the fundings which are, uh, which are uh, based on this filter. So uh, under the umbrella of eLife Ambassador Program, we created uh, such a resource, which uh, we call it ECR Central, um, um, which is available online for everyone. It's called ecrcentral.org. And um, th this aims to bring ECRs uh, together and, and, and to, to fight fundings and also uh, discuss about the fundings and share experiences. So this was actually started um, out of an Excel sheet. We, we created an Excel sheet um, where we listed all the fundings. And then I created an HTML page out of that and that uh, took over on uh, Twitter and uh, we got so many visits. And then we decided to create a, a platform where user can easily search based on uh, these criteria. So um, ECR Central right now has um, more than 700 funding opportunities all over the world. And it comes with um, almost 100 travel grants and very useful resources for uh, early career researchers. Um, f from science communication uh, to, to reproducibility and so on. And we have a community forum where you can go and ask questions. So as I said, um, this is, I, I guess, one of the largest uh, funding resource for ECRs uh, I come across at least. Um, we have more than 700 funding opportunities. Um, this is uh, the funding page where you can easily filter uh, the applicant country and then you, these lists will change and then you have the host country and, and the funders and so on. And if you go to an individual uh, page in the funding, um, this is a Marie Curie Fellowship, where you can see that um, several um, f key f um, metadata is available here, like applicant uh, country and host country and, and so on, the age limit. And up here you get um, a button where you can ask questions if you have about this funding and the deadline, and you have a couple of related fundings down there. And we have almost 100 travel grants uh, which are available for early career researchers you, to go to meetings or, or to, for collaborations and so on. Again, you can filter again these uh, based on the type, uh, the purpose of the grant, and also the funders. So here is the individual uh, page for, let's say, the, the OPF Travel Fellowship. 
we have um, up here. And you can go to the actual website by clicking the link. So, um, and we are doing this all uh, uh, using, uh, all the funders are uniquely identified in a way that um, we are using uh, Crossref uh, funder registry. Uh, if you go to the IMBO, you can see that what funding opportunities IMBO provides and then the travel grants. And we have um, several useful resources uh, for ECRs, which are uh, related to science communication, academic writing, um, reproducibility, publishing, preprints, uh, and so on. We have uh, a community forum where you can go and ask questions about uh, fellowships, travel fundings, or, or anything um, related to these, these uh, areas. So this is, um, and it comes with a very um, interactive um, admin interface where um, all of our moderators can add, edit, and delete these fundings, uh, travel grants, and resources. Uh, we are open source, so our source code is uh, available on GitHub. And uh, this is actually based on, um, developed based, um, uh, based on PHP, the Laravel framework. And for the database, we are using uh, MySQL. And uh, for templating, it's Bootstrap. And the search features are powered by Algolia. Um, Already more than 700 people joined the community. Uh, you, uh, you can um, see in this page. And uh, anyone of, uh, it's open to everyone. Anyone can join and also uh, post um, fundings or travel grants and resources. Um, so far, we got 234,000 page views from 112,000 people, uh, users across the world. So you can see that. Um, we have global overreach, except um, a Greenland, I think, doesn't want funding. Um, you can get easily involved. Uh, you can be one of our community moderators, so you can edit, add, or delete um, these funding opportunities, or, and so on. And uh, anyone can post uh, travel ground funding and resources. You, do, you don't need to register uh, to do that. Um, and of course, you can join the forum and share your uh, experience with, um, with the community. And we are uh, planning to do uh, some future uh, features, introduce some future features uh, in, in this platform, like um, proposal feedback. If, if someone wants one uh, a Marie Curie Fellowship and wants to be a mentor, so uh, we will list this mentor under the Marie Curie Fellowship, and you can contact, and you can have one-to-one mentoring on your proposal. And we are also planning to score funders because uh, based on uh, if they are DORA comp compliance or if, if they are open to all countries, um, if they are preprint friendly and so on. And also all the fellowships and fundings we have, uh, we are also planning to add whether they are preprint friendly or not. Uh, this is the core team, um, although uh, there is a huge um, uh, number of people uh, been involved in this, in this initiative, but these are the four uh, members who have been involved uh, largely, Co uh, Lota and, and, and Yuan did the uh, f uh, f funding list, and then uh, Christina and also working on the forum, and I been only... Um, uh, dealing with the technical stuff and development of the, the platform. And uh, with this, I would like to thank all the people who've been involved. Um, uh, Cora from uh, eLife, uh, Anthony Matelier from uh, my PI, who've been um, very supportive um, doing such kind of work, which um, it's just community um, thing. And uh, all the ECR Central members. And I would like to thank again um, Open Bioinformatic uh, Foundation for giving the travel grant and um, funding from Research Council Norway. So with this, uh, I would like to thank you for listening and please feel free to share and feel, please feel free to join us. Thank you.